My guests today say, you know, don't judge me by the way I look. Judge me by my talent. Sitting in my audience is a woman named Jagisha and her husband, Hiran. Now, when their son, Sparsh, was born with brittle bone disease, they knew their son was in for a life of not only physical challenge, but uh, uh, emotional challenges as well. And that, at an early age, Sparsh discovered music. At 14 years old now, Sparsh is an unbelievable singer, songwriter, and an inspiration to everybody he meets. Take a look. I was born with brittle bones disorder, and I'd pretty much always known that I'd had a special condition. I'm wheelchair bound, and thus I depend on my parents to take care of me. When we found out Sparsh had brittle bones, we were shocked, and we didn't want to accept it. The doctor said to us that our son would not live past the first two days of his life. We told the doctors that we're gonna spend the rest of our life fighting for sports. Throughout my life, I'd always noticed how people always would look at me with strange eyes. It kind of would make me uncomfortable. It still does. I've had about 130 fractures so far in just the first 14 years of my life. But I don't want people to feel sorry for me. I always try to focus on the brighter side of things in life. I love music, and I've been singing ever since I was a baby. My goal in life is to inspire everyone in the world and sparsh, which means touch, everyone's hearts. I hope that the next time someone sees someone in a wheelchair or anybody with special needs, please don't judge the book by its cover. This world sadly does have a lot of bullying, but there shouldn't be any room for it. Everybody, Sparsh. You know, that's terrific. So, you know, I asked Gabe this, and I'm going to ask you, because sure. he, said, he said to me it was uh, about second grade. When did you realize you were different? I pretty much always known. It was just something. I grew up with that notion. You know, I was in a wheelchair. As I saw that people were there that, did, uh, that could walk, I'm like, well, I'm in a wheelchair. So what? Wow. <laughs> so you weren't envious. No, uh, okay, actually, I'll be very honest with you. I kind of was. You know, a lot of my friends would be outside playing, and I'm like, uh, hey, guys, can you, like, play with me for a little bit? They're like, yeah, but we're playing a serious game of tag right now or something. Right. As they say, everyone wants what they can have, but the Lord never closes a door without opening another. There you go. He never does. Obviously, you're going to be a preacher. I mean, you're halfway well, there. Maybe a preacher might be one thing, but I would say music first, because I see a lot more people touched by music than they've ever been in church. And it's we're, we're going to get to it. Yeah. Your parents are here. I feel like a lot of people have the misconception that um, people like us just feel sorry for ourselves all the time and go like, oh, man, see those dudes, they're doing so good. But I, I bet you, Anyone with special needs would testify that that's not at all true. So if we don't think that way, why would we want you to think that way? Exactly. All right. Now. <laughs> you all knew early on his love for music? We saw that. You know, when we were, when he was very little, he started humming and he started singing on some of the songs that we put on radio. And one day I asked, where did you learn all these songs? He said, Dad, my bus driver puts the same radio station. <laughs> <laughs> and he memorized every single song. Very good. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank performing, you. see you again. Please give a round of applause for Sparsh. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Man! Who knew all the planes we flew, good things we've been through, that I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path. I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something told me that it wouldn't last. Had 
ready to switch up? Look at the instant, but see the bigger picture. Those were the days, hard work forever pays. And now I see you in a better place. Uh, how can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing by my side. And now you're gonna be with me for the last ride. Been a long day. Was that you, my friends? Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Yeah. First you both go out your way and the vibe is real and strong. It was small and turned to a friendship. A friendship turned to a bond and that bond will never be broken. The love will never get lost. First, no line will never be crossed. Established it on our own when that line had to be drawn in that line. It's what we reach, so remember me when I'm gone. <laughs> now you're gonna be with me for the last ride. Let the light guide you with. It's been a long day without you, my friends. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Been a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. See you again! <laughs> Okay, there is somebody specific you say inspires you, right? Great rapper, YouTube sensation. He's an amazing rapper. His name's Maddie B. Well, guess what? He wanted to be here today, but he couldn't, all right? Ah, oh, it's fine. But he sent you a special message. What's up, Sparsh? I heard you were a Maddie B fan, and I've been watching a lot of your stuff on YouTube, and you got a lot of talent, bro, for real. Keep following your dreams. And uh, one thing that we have in common is that when I first started, of course, people on the internet, they're mean. They can say anything. They try to bring you down, but uh, just don't let it get to your head and uh, shake the haters off like I used to say. And also, Mari, I love that you're uh, supporting anti-bullying. I agree with that. I've dealt with bullying in my life. My sister's dealt with bullying, and uh, I think that's a great message. God bless you. Have a good one. Daddy B. I want to tell you. I wish you the best, but I get the feeling you got it on your own, kid. You don't need any help. No, You're... of course, everybody does. OK, all right. That's why they say you want to know the road ahead as those coming back. There. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome, everyone, to my official YouTube channel. The lie detector test has determined you are in the right place. Make sure to subscribe to get daily updates, watch full segments, and see original content. Until next time, America. See you on YouTube.